Okay. So this is just uh, for you guys to review, you know, to get a sideway <clears throat> and This is a time domain. This is a time. You understand the time domain? That means they will be on the oscilloscope. Oscilloscope cannot measure the frequency. Only thing they can measure will be period. See, if you want the frequency, you have to do calculation. F is one, one over D. Let's make sure you have to understand that. Okay. And the next thing they're talking about, wavelength. Okay. So that one only apply when you're working on RF radio frequency. Okay. Normally, I can give and summarize of the RF on summer. Okay, so this one just uh, to give you the different waveform. Okay, later on, after you get through it, then you able to understand. Now, this will be display the square wave, two volt, pick to pick. And that will be a time domain. See on the oscilloscope. Okay. That will be one kilohertz. That's just a review. Okay. However, same thing. Square wave. Now they will be displayed in the frequency domain. Okay? That means they display on the spectrum analyzer. Still same one kilo, one kilo hub. When they display on the spectrum analyzer, you can see that at a one kilo hub. And the signal will be like 1.27 VP, 3 kilohertz, and so on. They keep display for the odd number, not even. Okay? 1357 and so on. Same thing. It's just like repeat, repeat it. Okay. See that they say one kilo hop, three kilo hop, eleven kilo hop, and seventeen kilo hop. Okay. Fundamental is one kilo hop. Basically, on the side way or square way. They can ask you what is the bandwidth of one kilo of sideway. The bandwidth, by definition, they will be equal maximum frequency minus minimum frequency. However, sideway one kilo of, they get only one kilo of maximum or minimum. Same thing. So that's why the bandwidth will be zero. However, this is the square wave. Square wave will be combined of too many side wave. Okay? That means fundamental they get a one kilo of however next time we harmonic Three kilo hub. Five kilo hub. Only the hot, okay? 
and so on. Okay, so if they asking on the in the frequency domain, what the period? Now, what the bandwidth of the square wave? So normally, you only count up to thirteen. Okay, kilohertz. Not try to go too far. And now we're talking about the filter. Okay. By basically definition, filter are circuit that kept able of passing signal with a certain selected frequencies while rejecting signal with other frequencies. Okay. So In active filter, okay, they get on the field. Uh, filter. And this will be a active filter. Basically, you can get two different types of the filter. They get the active filter and you get the passive filter. When you're learning about the AC in the summer, you're still learning same thing, filter. However, that will be passive filter. What the difference between active filter and passive filter? If you're talking about passive filter, they in only R, C, or L to build a filter. That means you don't need any power, okay? However, active filter, they're using the op amp to build. And the op amp will be need the positive and the negative power supply, okay? That is the difference between active and Patsy filter. First thing we're talking about low path filter. This is the ideal, okay? So the signal, okay, can transfer over the air, okay? And basically, after the cutoff frequency. Now, again, you remember the cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency or the corner frequency or critical frequency or stop frequency. Same thing, different name. Okay? Normally, at the cutoff frequency, the signal will be down. 3 dB. Or 70.7% of maximum value. The thing is 0 0.707. If you check the log, then you get 0. Point, uh, minus 3 dB. Okay? So this is the ideal. This is the cutoff right here, they call it FC. FC means cutoff frequency. That never happened, okay? This is the practical here, this is the real thing. This stands for AV, okay? AV means voltage gain, okay? Voltage gain, and this is a zero dB. Now, if zero dB, what the voltage gain equal? Unity? No. At the zero dB, what the voltage gain equal in here? Okay. 
Okay, you know. That's what I'm telling you. AV. AV means the all device to be in. Okay. If AV equal one, that only telling you V out. It will be in. Whatever coming in, you'll be coming out. No luck. Okay? And now, what you want, you want to see in the decibel. So, you know the AV in the decibel. You know the formula. We already learning the decibel. AV in dB will be 20 times lock of AV. And now if AV equals zero dB, you can take it AV. Twenty times equal what? The log of one is zero. Zero times whatever is zero. So they're telling you AV equals zero. D B, right? Log zero equals what? Sorry, that have to be equal log one, not zero. Log one equal zero. So that's why you can see here they say zero dB. Zero dB just telling you the gain equal one. And the gain equal one, that means at this time here, V out equal V You get 10 volt coming, 10 volt coming out, no loss. Okay, however, at the cutoff frequency right here. That means at the FC, okay, they will be said down minus 3 dB. Okay, if I set VL equal 10 volt, At FC, what we are equal? Yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. Add cut-off frequency. What we are supposed to be. Oh, you mean 0 0.707 times 10? Exactly. VR will be equal to zero, seven, half. And that's the same as the uh, minus three dB, right? Exactly. The thing is three dB, how come you get minus, you get a three dB? What I'm saying is when you're working in the radio frequency lab, they're using the spectrum analyzer, okay? However, the spectrum analyzer, they can measure using the dB, okay? dBm. However, we not deal with the dB or dBm. You deal with the what, kilo what, milli what, or micro what. So that's why you have to convert it, okay, into that. In order to talking about what or milli what or kilo what, but not dB. dB will be whatever you measure in the lab. Are you working? with the spectrum analyzer. And finally, you must be converted into voltage or millivolt or kilovolt, whatever, okay? And now you can see, this is a cutoff frequency, okay? So basically, if you get an input 10 volt, at this point, the voltage will be 7.07 .07 volts. And what they said, slop equal minus 20 dB per decade. What that means? That came in 10. Okay? That will be telling you. Right here, that FC, cut off frequency, up to this point. Okay? And basically, at the 10 FC, that telling you the decade. If you get a 1K, then at this point here, you can get 10 kilohertz. And they will be down 20 dB. Okay, now, if the 20 dB, okay, we want to know what the voltage. The thing is, only thing that you can understand, this is the first thing of basic, the rest of the filter will be the same. I want to know, okay, at the 10 kilohertz, they will be down 20 dB. I want to know what the voltage. You understand me at the 3 dB, minus 3 dB. You get the 0 0.707 times, okay? The voltage. 
Now, if you go down to minor 20 dB, what the voltage? Zero volts. Okay, now minus three dB equivalent seventy point seven percent of the maximum value, or I can say zero point zero seven. So now, when you go into the twenty minus twenty dB. Okay, you have to check the 10 volt time what number. Okay, telling me if you get the let's see. And the time lock. When we already did it, zero, lock year, lock one. You get zero EV. Okay? So if you take a twenty log zero point seven zero seven, you get minus three dB. So if I want minus twenty dB. So you have to get 20 log of what? Of what number here? So you get minus 20 dB. I believe you try to get 0 0.1 to see what you get. Take log 0 0.1 times 20. Isn't that just 20? Or what? Zero point one log and then times twenty is minus twenty dB. If you take the twenty times log of zero point one, okay, that means you get minus twenty dB. So if I said at the point at the ten times FC, the voltage now will be ten times 0 0.1. Is it right? At this point here, you get 0 point. Oh, you get 7 point, sorry. Okay, so if you get a 10 FC, that means 10 times of one kilohertz signal. Okay, that means you get 10 kilohertz. Then the voltage now go to one volt. Okay, if I want another 10, 
another 10 of the frequencies. Okay, then the frequency will be uh, 100. Okay, right? Another 10 times. What the voltage here? Can you do the calculation? Telling me what that voltage? That means they going down minus 20 dB. And now they going down another one minus 20 dB. They're telling you they going down minus 40 dB. Okay, I need to get that one. Okay. So, Mr. Pham, you wanted to go down 20, 40, 60, 80, like that? Yeah. At 100, right? 10 times 100 kilohertz. They said down. Now minus 40. And V out. You know the V in will be 10 volt. Okay. We given you V in. 10 volt. Okay. F. Here all the base. We now V out. E one V E. So the gain equal what? Okay, zero all the base. That the gain equal one. If you want to calculate the dB, okay. Then you can say, let's see, 20 loud. equal zero dB. Okay, now they say add the cutoff frequency. So the voltage will be down, okay? V out. Down. Minus 3 dB. And a minus 3 dB equivalent, 0.7. Zero seven. So if you want to calculate the V out, V out equal maximum will be a 10 volt times zero point seven zero seven. And that's why they will be seven point zero seven volt. And then they say V out. Now will be down. Minus 20 dB. Okay. Minus 20 dB. That will be telling you V out equal 10 volt. But you cannot cut time minus 20 dB. You have to find out what number for minus 20 dB. Okay. If you take the 20 log time 
Lock zero point one. That will get to you minus twenty dB. So basically, when they measure, they using the decibel. However, when you're doing a calculation, anything later, you have to using the number. And this is a number equivalent to minus 20 dB. So that's why you have to time zero point one, given you one volt. That means when they go going down 40 d 20 dB, and the voltage now will be go to one volt. And now if you say down 40 dB. Then we are, you have to find out what equivalent to 40 dB. You can take 20 times log 0 0.01. I believe that will be minus 40 dB. So basically, 0 0.01 equivalent for minus 40 dB. So V out will be equal to 0 0.01 times 10 volt. That will be equal to 0 0.1 volt. That is how do we calculate it. It applies for all of the filter, same way. Okay. Now, what they said here, one pole, see that? One pole. Low pass filter, that will be only one resistor and one capacitor. That's what they call one pole. Later on, you can see two poles. That means two resistors and two capacitors and so on. Low pass frequency filter only a loud frequency signal from zero hertz to its cut off frequency FC going to pass while blocking those any higher. Okay, so remember what they said. Low pass filter, they allow any signal will be passed through. Okay up to the cutoff frequency, FC. They don't want any more. This is the idea. They stop right away. However, real filter cannot. They wait until minus 3 dB. They can cut off here. The reason they don't want any more data here, you know why? It's noise. Exactly. That means after the cutoff, they want to stop it right away. If they keep moving, they get a noise. Now, in the past, about 15, 20 years ago, when you working on your radio, you moving from one channel to the other one, you can hear a lot of noise. Okay? Now it's no longer. The thing is, after the cutoff, no more. Okay. Cutoff frequency or corner frequency or critical frequency, either name. 
A the calculate by the following formula. If you want to calculate the cutoff frequency, FC one one over two pi times R times C. F will be in her, I in O, and C will be in Farad. At the cutoff frequency, the gain AV is down minus 3 dB. Or the output going down 70.7%, same as 0 0.707. Up it maximum value. After the cutoff frequency, output decrease at a constant rate, uh, at the frequency increase. That is, when the frequency increase tenfold, that means the decade. The voltage gain is divided by 10. In other words, the gain decrease 20 dB, 20 times um, log of 10. It times the frequency increase by 10. Now, one pull, low part filter, one R, one C. Okay. Drone operate is 10 minus 20 dB. For that case, or 0 0.1. Two pole, that means two R, two C. Run up rate at minus 40 dB. For that case, it will be 0 0.01. And three pole, okay? They get a different, okay, uh, run up. So, more, okay? More pole will be better. Okay, now you can see the following show the output of low path filter with a different pulse. You can see that will be a cutoff right here. And that will be 10 times FC. Okay. That will be a hundred times FC, and this will be, let's see, ten times FC, they have to be a hundred. That's a wrong. And that will be another ten. Okay. Now, for the low part filter circuit show, that means they given you that circuit here. But take active filter, they can use in up air. So, first thing you're telling me, what the configuration of this up air? That means they will be an inverting amplifier. They will be non-inverting amplifier. They can be follower. What type? If you don't know what type, you cannot do it. They are using a what type of the of amp to be a filter. Uh, Unity amplifier? Exactly. Unity amplifier or follower. You get 10 volts, you get 10 volts, you get one volt in, you get one volt out, right? That means the gain is equal to what? <coughs> now they add the register, they get add the capacitor. That make a low pass filter. Okay, so the first one, they want to calculate the gain. The thing is the unity gain. The gain equal one. 
and next they want to cut off frequency for this one. Okay, that means cut off frequency calculate by one over two pi times r times c. You substitute the value. Okay, of r one k c zero point one microfarad to this formula. You calculate, you get 1.59 kilohertz. That is a cut-off frequency. Okay? And now, they say they want to be out at the cut-off frequency. At the cut-off frequency, the output will be going down minus 3 dB. And a minus 3 dB equivalent to 0 0.707. So you take the input time, okay, 0 0.707. That's what you get the output, okay? V in equal 10 volt, I am at. The gain equal to one. So V out will be 10 volts. V I am at. That's only telling you at this point right here. That means the gain equal to one. Okay? Zero dB. No loss. So you get input 10, output 10. Okay? That's a cut off frequency. Okay? That means they're going down 3 dB. Equivalent to 0 0.707. You want to calculate the output, you take the output time 0 0.707. You get 7.07 volt IMF. And then they say, okay, I want the V out at 10 times FC. That means frequency increase by decade. Okay, then you will be take the 10 volt, okay, times 0 0.1. 0 0.1, that equivalent to 0 minus 20 dB, My, okay, minus 10 FC. And another, another one, you can get, okay, will be this one, forget this one, okay? That's supposed to be taken out. I don't know what's wrong with that, will be taken out. Okay, try this example. They gave in this circuit here. Input, they given you 2.5 VRMF. And now they want to calculate the gain. First thing when you're looking into this circuitry here. Okay, there's a low power filter, but what the configuration for the offense? What type? Non-inverting amplifier? What type of the op amp? Non-inverting? Non-inverting. You think non-inverting? Correct. Yeah. The thing is input apply to positive, right? Yep. That non-inverting. And a non-inverting again Equal what? Uh, one plus the feedback resistor over the oh, yeah, input right? resistor. Yeah. One plus R2 over R1. Okay. That is the gain. And now they say the gain AV. Okay. Equal one plus R2 over R1 at equal 10. Okay. And the V out maximum will be the gain time 25 
2.5 volt IM head. So that's why you get 25 BIM head. Okay, if we missing something and let me know, or if you confusing something, just bring it up, try to understand. Okay, the thing only you understand, you can memorize it long time, okay? Okay, so VR maximum will be take the gain is 10 times 2.5, you get 25. Okay. Cut off frequency. To calculate the cut off frequency, you have to use the formula we just gave it to you, right? 1 over 2 pi r times c. And that you get 159 hertz. And then they're asking what the V out at FC. How do we get this answer? Tell me. So number four. Okay. How do we get 17.67? Uh, 0. 0.707 times V out, correct? Um, 25, right? Yeah. Maximum. That's why you get 17.67. So basically, you take 25. Okay. That cut off right here. Okay. And basically, on this one here, you can get a voltage will be 25. Okay. Now, V out at 10 times FC. Okay. That means they going down 20 dB. Okay. So what the voltage? You can see in here, you can get a 1 dB, 0 0.1. That's a minus 20 dB, 0 0.01 times AV. Point two five. That's a point two five. Uh, that means zero point one, right? That's a twenty dB. Zero point one times twenty five. Two point five. And if they go going down minus forty dB. It will be 25 times 0 0.01. That means 0 0.25. Next one, high path filter. I saw in the last left bone uh, online that which they're talking about this thing for integrator or differentiator. Basically, that's just a filter. Okay. Now the filter low path will be that low frequency signal path up to the cutoff. And you get a next one, okay? They call a high path filter. They allow 
the signal higher than cut off frequency to pass. Okay, if you see the circuit three, you can see the opposite with the low path. Low path, you get R here, C here. High path, you get C here, R here. And this also still using the unity gain amplified to build low high path filter. Now, this is the cut off frequency. Okay, let FC here. Higher than cut off. That means in and out will be the same. Lower than the cut off, they will be down. Okay? 20 dB per decade. Okay? That means if you get a one 10 kilohertz, for example. Okay, and V in. And volt. Then if the frequency higher than 10 K here, V out equal V in. However, if you're going after the cutoff for this, this point here, what frequency? Frequency will be 1, 1K, all right? FC divided by 10. FC 10K divided by 10, you get 1K. They will be down 20 dB. Down 20 dB equivalent to one, okay? One time 10 volts, you get one volt. And 40 dB, you can get 0 0.1 volt, okay? Or 0 0.2, depending on the circuit. So that is already given you on of the calculation. So now, finally, you get a low path filter they allow any signal will be passed through the filter after the cutoff frequency. Any frequency, no, no, low path filter will be passed any signal less than cutoff frequency. And a high path filter will be passed any signal higher than cut off frequencies, okay? So that you get a low path, you get a high path. Active high path filter, okay? Using inverting amplifier. This is the inverting amplifier, okay? And basically, this is the high path. And this is on up calculation, okay? You need to go through that example and try to see if we can get it or not. Two pole, active high path filter. What the difference between one pole and two pole? Two pole much better. At this, that means the cut off will be much better, okay? And in here, if you want to calculate the cutoff frequency, FC equal 1 over 2 pi, 2 pi times 1 over R3 times R4, okay? R3 here, R4 here, okay? Times C1, C2. So when you're looking into the circuitry, you know, that will be tuple, okay? We cannot memorize the circuitry, okay? Even myself, engineering, I don't need it. Now, band path filter. 
The circuitry look like that one. They go up, ban, ban, pop, filter, BPF. Basically, when they try to combine, okay, high pop filter and a low pop filter, you get a band pop filter. If you're looking into the circuitry, you can see on that one, that will be a high pop filter. Then the signal will be go this way. Okay? And the cut off here. And on this one here, they will be a, this one, next one will be a low pass filter. Okay? This is a low pass filter. They allow low frequency to pass. And this is a cut off frequency. They call a F high. So basically the band pass filter, they get two cut off frequencies. One cut off at the low frequency, one cut off at the high frequency, and the fin finally, this is the signal for band path filter. Okay? This is just a circuitry to build. Okay? In this uh, band path filter, they get a two cut off frequency, one at L, one at high. So the signal will be higher than FL, less than F high will be pop. And the signal less than F low, higher than F high will be reject. Okay? So most of the things they will be using band path filter. Okay? I don't care you can memorize the circuitry, but I really care when you're looking into the output here, you know this is the output of the band bot filter. Now, band bot filter output, bot frequency higher than F low and less than F high. That means this is cut off here. They higher than the path and they have to let them up high. Okay. Bandwidth. Bandwidth, that means the difference between F high and F low. You take F high minus F low. That's why you get a bandwidth. Okay. Now, if you want to calculate the skill quality, that means how good the filter. They equal F center divide to the bandwidth. In the middle here, frequency you get F center. Okay? You divide to the bandwidth, that's what you get quality. Quality Q control the zone of red and the bandwidth of the filter, okay? Good or bad filter depending on skill, quality. Inverting band, band path filter. Now they using the inverting amplifier, okay? They connect R1, R2, C1, C2. That's telling you the circuitry will be band path filter. Normally, when you're working or you're doing something with the filter, they're telling you, this is a band path filter or high path filter or low path filter, okay? And the voltage gain in here, they're telling you what equal. Cut off frequency, lower cut off, two pi R1, C1. Higher cut off, 1 over 2 pi R2 C2. That is how to calculate that. Cut off. Last one. Band stop or not filter. Either name. They can be band stop 
other can be gone, not futile. So now that can tell you very simple. They opposite to the van part filter. They also get the cut off at low, cut off at high. Okay? So any signal higher than F high or less than F low, they are allowed to pass. Any less than F high or higher than F low, they will be blocking. They just opposite to the band path filter. Okay? Okay, now, you can see in here, this is the output of the filter. Okay, different output. This one they call a uh, one filter section, two section, three section, four section. What that mean? When you're reading, this is what they call a one, filter section. This one, they get two, three, and four. What that means? Are they talking about the poles? Exactly. OK. That means this is a one R, one C, right? One pole. This is a two pole. Three pole, three R, three C, so on. Okay, now see which signal will be good. First thing I say, one pole, not good at all. How? How you can say this one is not good? The bandwidth is too nice. wide. What? The bandwidth is too wide. Exactly, that means more noise, okay? This is the one less than noise, okay? Narrow it, then they less than noise. That is the good one, better than that one, this one better than that one. That's what they're telling you. Okay, and now this is also so the output of the signal of a different filter made by different engineer. Okay, but it was best sale, cheaper G. Okay, you can see that cheaper G here, that elliptical, elliptical here, and that bottom of words, and that one is best sale. If you need to make a choice, which one you think that's a good one? Also, I want to explain to you a little more. You can see what's here. What is it? Noise. Noise. Perfect. Just the noise. Ripple. You understand noise by definition. That means an unwanted signal. You don't want it, but they there. So now telling me which filter output you think better? The it's hard to pronounce the chat mischief. Which one? The one that starts with C. Bissell. I would say I would say Bessel. Bessel. Okay, now if you say good filter, you don't want the noise. Okay. So that Jeopardy cannot. Jeopardy, they get a very good cut off. However, they get a annoyed. So that's why it's not good. The vessel and the ecliptical 
can be eliminated right away. Yeah. Elliptical. You see that? Same thing. Same thing. They get a lot of noise. That's what is not good. And but the what? There can be no noise. However, when they cut off far away, okay, from the signal you wanted. So that is not good at all. The last one will be best sell. They get a very good cut off, but they also have a no noise. Normally, when you apply for a technician job, most of the defense company, they will be asking you in general. They can give you that output here. They can ask what agent. The answer will be that is the output of the different filter. Okay? And they can ask you, for those output, which one you think you be the good one? That's what you need to answer. You cannot say electrical, or you can say temperature, or but the what? The answer will be best sell here. The reason is they have a no noise. And the cutoff, they must do better than but the wood. Okay. That's just a summary. Okay. You can try to read. They given you the formula. At the high part, that's a summary. Band part filter, okay? That is a circuit tree, and that is a need calculation. Bandwidth equal, okay? FC2 minus FC1. F center equal square root FC1 times FC2. Two, quality. Equal F center divide to the bandwidth. Q greater than 10, that will be narrow band. Q less than 10, wide, wider band. Low path bandwidth, filter bandwidth of the band path filter, center frequency, whatever, okay? Mr. Pham, real quick. Yeah. Can you explain why they made bandwidth and cut off the same? I, I know that F2 minus F1 is the bandwidth, but that formula where they got BW equal cutoff, because the, the, the bandwidth is, is F2 minus F1. The bandwidth? So can you explain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a minute. Bandpath. Filter path on frequency bound by a low frequency limit and upper frequency limit and reject on other lying outside. So this is not a, a, a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was wondering. That's no good, right? Right. That type of. Okay. I think that they already telling you, we already talked to you. Bandwidth means the difference between F high and F low. Okay. And also make sure if I want F center, you can calculate it. I want the quality Q, you're able to calculate it. Okay. And if the Q higher than 10, you get a narrow band. We want narrow band. Okay. Q less than 10. Wider band. We don't want wider band. Okay. So, any question? Anything? When you're working on a left phone, you're working on uh, different 
differentiator, integrator, basically that is like the filter, okay? But basically, if you want to understand a little more, okay, differentiator, that means you check the differentiator of the equation, like y equal uh, 2x, what the dy over dx? Two. Okay, just a minute. Y equal to X. So, DY. If you learning a math, then you can do it. If you not, you don't know. I want to know who know differentiator. That uh one. So, uh, this is just asking um, the operators d over dx or the change of the function with respect to x and the change of the function with respect to x is 2 in this case. If you take a differentiator, you get 2. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, that's only telling you for differentiator. If you want to draw equation, y equal to x, how can we draw? First thing you set x equal zero, right? And y equal zero. That means you get this one. Now you want to another point to draw. You can say, okay, now I say x equal 1. What y equal? Two. Perfect. Two, yeah. That means two, right? You draw the line. That is y equal to act. And if you keep drawing, they can look like that one. What type of signal here? Triangle, right? They're just telling you y equal to that means you can get this signal here. So basically they take a differentiator of the square wave, you get a triangle away. That is, I saw on your guide did last meeting on the left wall. And now, if you get an integrator, y equal to integrator dy over dx. So you can get a 2 x. And if you get a y equal one night, and now you want to integrate us dy over dx, they can be x square over two. That's uh, telling you that is a triangle square. 
they go to the circuitry. Now you get the parabola way. That's what your guy doing the left in the left hole. They go on. Differentiator or integrator. Okay. So any question, anything? Yeah, Mr. Fam, I gotta go back and uh, study my calculus. <laughs> <laughs> uh just a minor comment. When you're taking the in in the integral, you uh you have to add a constant to it as well. You mean uh, in, like the integral of like x is uh, x squared over two plus your constant, because when you take the dif differential, uh, when you differentiate it, the constant goes away. So the integral is just supposed to like undo that, so to speak. Basically, I'm just telling you, whatever in the math, okay, they're solving the problem in the math. We they can do they can do it using electronic. Instead, you solve the equation, okay, for differentiator or integrator, then you still can do it, same thing, like in the electronic. That's what you learn when you're working on integrator or differentiator. Okay, so anyway, we will be done. Do you get any questions, anything? Get any question or anything, let me know. Happy holidays, Mr. Pham. Okay, so that's why I said Happy Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you. Okay. Well, we'll be see you next year. Next year. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody. Yeah. Okay, same to you. God okay. bless everybody. Okay. We'll see you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.